every morning when I make this bed, Nala does not move. She's not moved since I pulled this cover up, since I put the cushions on, pretty sure half of them are on top of her. This one goes on top. She just doesn't move, do you? <laughs> Is it cosy? <laughs> I'm just putting on my new Zoella Beauty Quench Me Body Sorbet. This is one of the new formulations, so we've never done this before. Again, something we've been working on for a really long time, and it's so... It basically is what it's called. It's so thirst quenching. But it also feels really nice and refreshing, especially on a very warm day. It soaks in really quickly, but it leaves your skin feeling really soft and moisturised, and it's not like a heavy, heavy moisturiser, which I think is perfect for this time of year. Don't know why I sounded like Brian Blessed then. <laughs> also sporting some Monstera Leaf earrings and a <laughs> leaf print jumpsuit. This is from Primark and these I think are misguided but they're really good because they're so light. I actually did used to own a pair of these. I think I've got them somewhere and they're from Zara and they are so heavy that they pull my earlobes down but these ones are really comfortable to wear. They don't feel heavy at all. Oh my god I just love this. It's so nice. It also gives your skin like a really nice sheen. Look at that. love it i have no other skin like on display so i'm just gonna do just gonna do that and it's already like sinking in it's perfect for very quick morning moisturizer application because i really hate putting on very thick moisturizers in the morning i don't mind them so much at night when you can go to bed and let them really sink in but if you're like getting ready to go in the morning and you don't have a lot of time this is perfect Perfect, Nala's like fast asleep now. Right, I need to do my hair and I need to do my makeup. Gonna use a little bit of Fenty Beauty foundation today. Just feeling like it. With my Fenty Beauty brush. And this lighting is not the best, so I might just join you when I'm finished. <laughs> And then I'll probably tell you what I used. Cheeky. Nala? <laughs> you having a lazy morning? <laughs> I can't see you. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is not your best angle, Nala. <laughs> Makeup is done oh sorry <laughs> no, when you, did you think i was telling you <laughs> when you said when you said do you want to get in a little selfie i was like yeah because i thought that was your phone oh so i said it. are you taking oh, a little yeah. selfie as i said a minute ago when i was doing my makeup and it, the lighting was terrible i will now chat you through what is in my makeup bag that i have on my face right now so oh what's this little makeup bag Cheeky, I'm not letting Mark smell what this smells like until we get to the office. You've been so well restrained. I know, like it's in the shower, it's there. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. And also I'm not letting him look at Poppy's or Sean's Insta stories because they've shown what's in there. I had to skip through it so I feel really bad. <laughs> Where can I put this? Do you want me to hold it? Oh yeah, actually. <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind, I'll be I'm as quick up, as pos. Giving up valuable air doing time. <laughs> First thing I put on is the Fenty Beauty Foundation, which is in the shade 170 Pro Filter. I love it. I then put on my concealer. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer, because this is amazing. And that's in the shade Light. And then under my eyes, I used my trusty Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Then what did I do? Oh, okay, then I powdered. So all over my entire face, I used this. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is incredible. It feels cold on your face mm. and wet, but it's not. Mm. It's so nice, I love that. And then I also put this under my eyes. This is the Revolution Bake and Finish Powder. I find it really lightens underneath the eyes and it makes your concealer last all day. 
<laughs> right up there. Thank you. Then I used this. This is new from Too Faced. This is the Highlight Blush and Bronzing Veil Face Palette. Natural Face. This is so nice. And I used a combination of Sunny Honey and then Tropic Like It's Hot. Oh. oh Tropic Like It's Hot. <laughs> Tropic, Tropic Like It's Hot. hot. Then, a very similar looking palette. This is also by Too Faced and this is the Natural Eyes palette. Look how beautiful those colours are. Oh, I like erotica. So. <gasps> oh my God. What? I just love the names. So I used Silk Teddy in the corners of my eyes. Then I used this. This is the Eva Gutowski um, Colourpop It's All Wild palette. Oh, I cannot open it. And I used this colour just blended all over my eyelid. I quite like just a matte brown at mm. the moment. I'm digging it. I then used this. This is the Dior Show on stage liner waterproof liquid liner in vinyl black this again is one of my new loves i absolutely love it it is the most amazing eyeliner ever and it does not budge oh i forgot i put some tanya burr cosmetics peonies please illuminating powder on my cheeks to highlight eyebrows i used <sighs> <laughs> I use the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow, which is a waterproof eyebrow corrector. I just put a dollop on the back of my hand, use a little angled brush and fill in my brows. Um, again, lasts all day, does not smudge. Then I went over it with the Glossier Boy Brow, which I also really like. Have you tried this? No. You would love this. What does it do? Just... It just like neatens and like adds a little bit of like color and definition <gasps> to your brows. You should try this after. Oh. And then mascara wise, I use the Smith & Colt Lash Dance Mascara, but the little inner tube. Safety cap. <laughs> it, as I was doing it, it like fell inside the mascara. And if you've ever had a mascara that does that, it just looks like an absolute mess. So I did my top lashes with that, and then I did my bottom lashes with the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which mm. I also love. And then for my lips, it's a colour pop. Give me two seconds, it's on the stairs. Here it is. <laughs> this is the Colour Pop Aquarius 2 lip colour, which I'll be taking with me in my handbag. Thanks so much, Mark. Does your arm hurt? <laughs> I'm like using it as a tripod. Thank you. <laughs> oh well, it was that. That is. Look at that. That's the size of your peen. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. <laughs> Mark's doing his morning vitamins. I don't want to like drive too fast. Let's go. This is iron and vitamin C. Supports healthy red blood cells and immune system. Oh. Bloody A fever though, my eyeball, does it? No, you gotta have a pair of teas for that. Hey oh! Hey <laughs> oh! Lovely. So that's two down. Two down, three to go. Three to go. Four to go, because I take the, the skin, hair, and nails one too as well. Are they all individual? Yeah. You can get some that are all in one skin, hair, and nails. I was looking at Perfect Hill. But I think, yeah. Yeah, Nicole Scherzinger was on the box, and I'm a bit oh, yeah. worried about like. I'm sure it's fine, but if like a man takes a woman's vitamins... You're scared you're going to grow breasts? I mean, <laughs> yeah. And my wheel's going to fall off. <laughs> my wheel bow. <laughs> wheel bow baggage. <laughs> what a great start to the Splash Britannics book. Oh, I know. Sorry, you can cut that out. No, I won't. This is so disgusting. <laughs> oh, smell that. Oh. Is that your bar or is that the tarmac? Or fresh tarmac? Fresh tarmac. Is it? Yeah. Why are you covering your bar? Because I do. <laughs> I don't want him to get out of my bar. Step right up and touch the sky and salt on the top. Oh, look, there's Megs. Who? Megan. Hi, oi! Hi, oi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking on my peanuts. Oh, yeah. What's raining? It's going to be absolutely. Sorry. See you in a bit! Always pills in travel! <laughs> when the water is kind and the water is blind. Oh. When the water is kind! <laughs> when 
the water is kind well, and it's warm. It's got great home as well. Is this the new thing in Brighton these days? Yeah, lots of silver foxes. Yeah. When the water's kind, yeah, when the, the water, water is white. <laughs> when the water is kind and you're out in a time. She's, I'm going to have to look for a jacket because it's stupid here. Thought it was summer. Muggins here. Muggins here. Thought it was summer. I ain't got a jacket. Gonna get wet. Gonna get frizzy air. <laughs> when the weather is kind and the water is warm. <laughs> Found one of Alfie's coats, didn't I? Mark says I look like a little turtle. <laughs> Keeping me warm. warm. Keeping the rain off. Mark's also got an umbrella that we found in the back of the car as well, so that's good. <laughs> We've arrived in the office, look! The team have decorated and it looks blurry right now. Hey, focus. Look how cool. We've got these, and look at this. It looks so cool. Then we've got two peeps having a gossip. <laughs> look at this. Mark, come and see this. Come and see in here. Isn't it so cool? Oh my God. This is like, I literally just thought it was gonna be me at you at a desk. <laughs> But not in the office. Oh no, we don't do anything by halves, Mark. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it so cool? That's amazing. There's the range. Just setting up for the Instagram. You get that. <laughs> I was going to invite trick. Do you know what's inside? You guys are. Do you know what's inside? <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, it's a total surprise to me. <laughs> Three, two, one. You're live. Yeah. Yeah. And we're live, coming to you from Zoella <laughs> HQ. We're <laughs> live. We're live. So Mark's not smelt Splash Botanics at all. He also doesn't know like the general press setup. So I thought it would be really nice to start off the day by giving him his and we can all go through it together. First impressions. First impressions. Because if any of you don't know, I met Mark because he oh, yeah. reviewed my products. That's how we met. And now we're doing it together. And now we're doing it together. Live. Live. My darling Mark Ferris, super excited to share my newest beauty collection with you. It's called Splash Botanics and it's going to be your fave. Just know it. Thank you for continually supporting me in everything I do. Love you lots, Zoe. <laughs> I was going to say so. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Can I keep these? No. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh my god, so there's like actual plants in it. Oh my god, it's my initial! <laughs> How often do I have to water this? Um, like once a week, give it a little spritz. Cool. So the spray is Botanico. Okay. And it has notes of jasmine, freesia, iris and Lotus Blossom. I love Jasmine. Oh. Nice, isn't it? I mean, I am biased, but. <laughs> <laughs> I also think it's quite a unisex smell, personally. Yeah. I think it's probably the most unisex smell and maybe the one coming up later on in the year. But mm. I think this one is particularly quite unisex. I just love the design as well. I love the lids. <laughs> Maybe just relax them a little. <laughs> <laughs> Is it coloured? No, it's like a very, if you could see the actual product, it's like a very, very mm. light pink. Kind of like the colour on the end, you see? But it doesn't really like come off too much, so you can use it on your lips. How's it look? For you. Makes them look really hydrated and healthy. It tastes amazing as well. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye! <laughs> That's a wrap! Yay! Oh, they're so splash themed. Splash Botanics. Oh, they look 
looks so oh, amazing. amazing. Splash Botanics. Thank you so much, Dum Dum Donuts. These look delicious. Bobby's here. Aya. And Sean. Aya. <laughs> that was a funny little wave. Hiya guys. Hi Zoe. It's Mark here. Hello Zoe. And Sean. It's Sean here. Congratulations and on holiday. the new launch. <laughs> Just want to say, I'm so proud of you. You're, a, you're an amazing human. You've done so well. You've done incredibly well. And I just can't wait for more amazing things from you because you're full of amazing things. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Ciao. <laughs> Really cute. <laughs> we are cute. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so for this bit, we thought it would be really fun to do a Q&A. Abigail, and she said, how long was the process of making the range? This range took around 18 months, which feels weirdly like yesterday that we started talking about it. And then it's only when you answer questions like that that you realize how long it's actually been. When we said kind of guess what the range is gonna be, a lot of people were like fruit, fruit, because obviously we've had a meeting recently where we were discussing a fruit range, but it does not take that short amount of time. It actually takes a really long time to develop a range. Do you prefer developing packaging or fragrances? This is a really hard one because I love both those aspects and they both have very different like creatives. So obviously you're using like your nose for one aspect, but also you have to really think about what a lot of people are gonna like. I can't just choose a scent that I think, well, I love this, but no one else is gonna like it. That would be very selfish. I do obviously have to love it, otherwise there's no point, but I have to also think about universally what a lot of people are gonna really, really like, and that's really hard, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I just want everyone to love it. But also with the packaging, um, it's so fun, and I'm such a creative person, and I'm very visual, so doing that is always a lot of fun. And also testing formulations is fun too, because there's the scent formulation and the packaging that you have to kind of think about. So I don't know which is my favorite. Maybe the packaging, because I do think it's really, really cool to see it when it's done. Heather said, how does it make you feel when you bring out a new range? Really excited. My emotions are all over the place. It's, it's so much fun, because it is like your baby and you work so hard on it. So it's almost like setting it free into the world. It's great. Um, which product was the most difficult to get perfect? Oh, I like this one. So some of these formulations we've had released in other ranges, but all we've done is change the scent, which again, you have to test to make sure that it works, because sometimes it might not. But this, the lip oil, we've been developing this for a really long time. We've actually been developing this longer than this range has even been created. So probably this for like two years, two and a bit years, because I really, really wanted a lip oil. So for this to finally be out, I'm very, very happy about it because it just, I don't know, it's something very different from anything we've ever done before. So that was probably the one that was the most difficult to get right, for sure. Right, myself, Sophie, Carrie and Mark are heading down to Superdrug because we want to see if the products are in there. I think it's always nice to go in and see. And then if we're allowed, we're gonna sign some and then you guys can go in if we're allowed. If we're, allowed. <laughs> we're gonna sign some and then you guys can go in and grab a signed product if you want it. <laughs> oh yay, it's so nice seeing everyone receive their press packages. It's such an upbeat, happy day. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Are you happy? I'm yeah. always happy. Mark's always happy. It's a bit cold. Yeah, it's chilly. Look, me and Sophie have both got green on today. We are live plants. And Carrie's got a green scarf. And with green trousers. And green trousers. And Mark's got, what, what's Mark got on that's green? Oh, bright green pants. <laughs> Give us a flash. <laughs> oh, yay. In we go. Discovered this is all they have left for the moment. <laughs> You guys have already rinsed it. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> oh my god, we've made a discovery. Well, Mark made a discovery. Oh What's your discovery? That Nala looks like pink. <laughs> <laughs> 
picture as well. Wait, You've got let to me get mine one. up. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, Nala. Pingu. Pingu. <laughs> Look at her little face. She's so cute. So we're about to do the third live which is me and Sophie talking about a bit more of the development and everything else that goes into bringing Splash Botanics and any other product launch to a shelf which I hope some people find really interesting because we don't ever really get the opportunity to talk about it like this no but it so is it'll very be very long and interesting process. it is yeah I still find it very interesting and I've been doing this for a while now and Sophie's been doing it even longer than me so <laughs> come on are you not sure? There you go. <laughs> so Nala's gonna do her live show. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Do you feel like this is very close to your face? No. <laughs> <laughs> so like Zoe said, I'm the Zoella Beauty brand manager. Uh, we work with a licensing company and of course the retailers to get everything together. So should we just sort of talk about the beginning? Yeah, so I guess when you have the idea, yeah. How does that then become so, an actual product range? So at the beginning of a season, we might have like a, a mood board um, session where we talk about what sort of products we love. Yeah, ideas, and also trends. Trends. Upcoming trends. You always think, oh, I know what the trends are for now, but it's actually oh quite a gosh. skill to know the trends for like 18 months and time. And even two years ahead. It's yeah, crazy. two years yeah. ahead. So we'll look at different things. We might go to art exhibitions and see what um, is inspiring. We might look at shops and see what's in there. Maybe lifestyle might have things that would just be like beauty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the names are also something that I think over time gets harder and harder because it almost feels like we have used all the names we could possibly <laughs> think of. And we always have fun with them. So. Yeah, so much fun. So we have like a huge team that do all sorts to it and it encompasses all what we've been talking about, but we have product developers. We have testers, we have QCers, so they can quality control everything. Yeah. Pack testers. Um, I know the lab in Cheltenham even have like a vibration machine now. So if it was being brought over from the factory in a boat, make sure that it wouldn't break if it was rocked around a lot. So that they think of everything. There is a person for everything. Yeah. Like the amount of people that yeah. have gone into making one product is crazy. Yes. Um, I think there are still a few people that think I just make these at home. <laughs> that would be very impressive. That would be very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> but no, that it would also take me 10 years, I think. <laughs> yeah, a lot of equipment. Yeah. Which is your favourite? My favourite? Oh, from this out range. range. Sorry to just throw you no, in there. No, I mean, I've got quite a few. I feel like it might have to be the Maker Splash, because obviously this is um, the Splash version of Jelly and Gelato's. Uh, shower shake. Yeah, it's such an amazing product. Um, it's so moisturizing. I was using it last night and you come out the shower and you don't need to moisturize I know it's a win-win. Yeah. It? Hello, Nala. Oh, oh, <laughs> also, the lip oil is an absolutely amazing product. I know Zoe said earlier it's taken over two years yeah. to develop and it's something that's been ongoing because we wanted to get it absolutely perfect. Um, so this is cherry flavored. Um, it contains lots of loving, lovely ingredients like sweet almond and jojoba berry and argan oils, which is going to moisturise your lips. I really like it because I don't like lip glosses, but this one doesn't mm. leave you that sticky. It's charm. not sticky, is it? No, it's amazing. Yeah. And everyone who I've seen review this so far has been like, it's the perfect consistency because it's not sticky and it's really nourishing yeah. and it's nice to keep reapplying Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, it sinks in, you can just use it over and over again. Yeah, also, I don't know if everyone knows, but the range um, is actually vegan and cruelty free, oh, which yeah. is very exciting. I love this too, because obviously this is something that we are like really passionate about and that we really, really wanted to be able to do. That was good. Right? Yeah. yeah. That was great. That was I did so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn! Glenn! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
right? <laughs> Just, they're just quick fire. You've got to say the first thing that comes into your yeah. head, okay? Yeah. What colour is your toothbrush? Blue. Black. If you could buy any type of food right now, what would you buy? Mm, nachos. If you could be any animal, what would it be and why? Seal, because I love them. They're fat and lazy. <laughs> what is one of the things you would put on your bucket list? Oh, jump out of an airplane. Who do you admire the most? My friends. What's your favourite summer activity? Oh, getting wet. <laughs> Like swimming, like water activities. If a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be? Oh, um, awkward rom com comedy. If you could be any flavour of ice cream, what ice cream flavour would you be and why? I'd be lemon. Why? Um, because it's it's nice, but it can be quite citrusy. <laughs> <laughs> what is your dream job? Um, this. What I'm doing. What's one thing that annoys you the most? People who eat loudly and don't have any manners. What is one of your weird quirks? Um, oh god, to name a few, you tell me. That um, your hands have their own minds. Yeah, I'm very like, flamboyant. Describe yourself in three words. Trustworthy, loyal, unpredictable. If you could tra trade lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? Kim Kardashian. What's your favourite joke? Um, grab a coat, you pulled. That's not a joke. Oh, it's a chat line. <laughs> Describe the perfect kiss in three words. Oh my god, in the rain, listening to Adele under an umbrella. Oh, you've thought about that before, haven't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is your biggest addiction? Um. Oh, oh, skin. like hygiene. Hygiene. <laughs> skin. I was going to say skincare. Who have you met that you wish you hadn't? Oh, I can't say. <laughs> What's the most interesting thing you have in your bag? Probably my vitamins. Your vitamins. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how cool are you? Oh, three. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best advantage to being really tall? Oh, I can pick things off shelves for elderly people. Oh. <laughs> how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Oh. <laughs> I like to leave myself for like a, a nice two and a half hours. Are you kidding Obviously, me? Obviously, it doesn't take me two and a half hours, but I like it to be a long process. Which TV sitcom family would you be a member of? Oh, I would love to be a member of like the Gellers, but I like Monica doesn't get with her mum, and I'd I'd be upset about that. Yeah. Which store do you shop at the most? Um, ASOS. What supply in your house is running low? Oh, I bought bog roll. No, I wouldn't say <laughs> that, but I bought two big bags the other day. Um, probably kitchen roll. Kitchen roll. Just, just something that cleans up mess. <laughs> Most delightful word you can think of. Oh, um. First thing that comes into your head. Magnificent. <laughs> what is your least favourite beverage? Oh, um, tequila. What is the first thing you notice about someone when you first meet? How nice their smile is. Do I trust it or not? Their eyes. What compliment do people give you the most? You smell nice. If your plane was about to crash, who would you want sitting next to you? Oh, my mom. Oh, sorry, Dave. <laughs> um, like one person, obviously, with my whole fam. <laughs> sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> what is the lowest grade you've ever been given in a class? Um, you, and that was for general studies. Oh. <clears throat> what is your best feature? Um, I'd like to say my height. If you could win any award, what would it be? Um, I feel like it would have to be something with like customer service. Award in the whole <laughs> world, and you want a customer service award, not a BAFTA or a. Oh shit! I would love an Oscar. <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast? Um, does it count salmon bagel? Yeah, that counts. Okay. What's your favourite cuisine? Um, curry. Where would you want to retire? In the Cotswolds. Gold or silver? Gold. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of when I say fruit? Um, enjoyable. <laughs> have you ever been in a car accident? I have, yeah. Oh god. Very minor. What's your favourite flower? Ooh, um, daffodils. What size is your bed? Oh, annoying. My feet hang over the edge. <laughs> what is it? Single? Oh, no, it's double, isn't it? Double, yeah. Double. Who's the last person you went to dinner with? <laughs> Where's your favourite place to hide? As in hide out, like if you didn't want to see anyone. Oh, it'd probably be my bedroom at home. What makes you angry? Bad manners, um, judgmental people, bullies, 
trolls. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you feel sad? Oh, my friend's being sad. Me too, I'm literally the same people. <laughs> Why'd you say that? You just are. <laughs> what time do you go to bed? Um, before 12 these days. Cold or hot? Oh, always hot. Cold. Wet or dry? Oh no! Yeah, cold. Oh, definitely dry. Your mother or your father? Oh, both. <laughs> I can't choose. Who did you kiss last? <laughs> Nala? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it was, I think it was, yeah, it was Nana. How do you feel about getting old? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Um, Sunday. What one thing will you never do? Kill someone. Without looking at a clock, what time is it right now? Quarter to four. Oh, 15.41. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was really loud. What challenges you? Being independent. Love it. Thanks so much, Mark. Thank you so much. I'll let you know if you've got the job. <laughs> Thank you. You got my email. <laughs> what word do you always misspell? Uh, oh, necessary. Would you enjoy a vacation away from all your technology? Yes. What is your ugliest vegetable? <laughs> oh, what is the ugliest vegetable? <laughs> of all my vegetables, yeah. the ugliest vegetable? Yeah. Maybe like a really weird knobbly parsnip? What product would you seriously stockpile if you found out they were going to sell out anymore? If they weren't going to sell anymore? Oh, that is a toughie. Lizelle cleanser polish. What is the absolute worst movie you have ever seen? The Shining. What food do you crave most often? Mashed potato. What is the grossest sounding English word? The C word. Yeah. What's the silliest thing you get nostalgic for? Vlogmas. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mashed potato. What is your dream car? My mini. <laughs> what quote do you try to live by? Live your life for you. Oh. Do you think the world would be a better place or a worse place if everyone suddenly could read each other's thoughts? I think it would be worse, but then it would be better. Whose advice do you always listen to? Alfie's. Would you go to another planet even if it meant you would never return to Earth and eventually die on this planet? No. <laughs> would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> to die around and she was like, oh my god, what are you talking about? What is the first thing you think about in the morning? What have I got to do today? iPhone or Samsung? iPhone. Would you rather work eight hours standing or ten hours sitting down? Ten hours sitting down? What age do you want to retire? I don't know. I've never thought about it. What scares you? Social media. When was the last time you took a rest? Uh, last week. What is your last thought about before going to bed? Uh, I'm really tired. What does your office or workspace look like? <laughs> Ayo! What makes you annoyed? Uh, bad manners. What will you never do? What would I never do? I would never say something <laughs> really mean to someone. What is your biggest strength? Oh, I don't know. I should know that. People should know their strengths and weaknesses. I, one of my strengths is that I can rise above. What time will you go to bed tonight? Probably like, <laughs> oh actually we're going to see a film, so midnight? Oh yeah. What is one item you could never live without? Does Nala count as an item? Maybe my laptop. Okay. I can do a lot on that. Drawings or paintings? Drawings. Hugs or kisses? Hugs. Winter or summer? Summer. Oh! I like autumn, but that wasn't a choice. Cake or pie? Pie. Comedy or mystery? Mystery. Dancing or singing? Singing. Freckles or dimples? <coughs> Freckles. Tattoos or piercings? Piercings. Antique or brand new? Antique. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Shower in the morning or shower in the evening? Shower in the morning. What's your favourite place on earth? My home. How do you travel? <laughs> in a car or a plane. Would you rather be considered sexy or smart? Smart. Who do you think should make the first move, girls or guys? Either. How would you describe yourself in three words? Um, patient, caring, 
and weird. Would you rather be invisible or have x-ray vision? Invisible. Okay, that, there, was only, there was only 12. <laughs> was that 12? <laughs> no, there was a come, there's some other ones that wouldn't work. Hey. Last live show of the day, folks. Woo! I'm announcing the competition and we're showing um, the winner of the fragrance design as well. Body mist with all the information. Future designer. Yeah, she's got a job. Not a designer. You need to work in product development, Daisy. Um, so yeah, congratulations. We'll be sending you your prize in the post. Is someone timing a minute? No. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it on this. <laughs> what do you do on that? You're definitely not doing it. Gonna... If you want us to do more live shows, let me know. With an amazing backdrop as well. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you've all had a really nice day and we'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Bye. Ta ta. Ta da. Ta da. Ta da. Woo. Well done, Zoe. Woo. Give her a message. Tell her you're proud of her. Oh, what message? <laughs> yeah, I just saw her. <laughs> oh, don't put the pressure on me. Look, your products look like this. Hiya, love! <laughs> How did you see me? Nala gave it away. She went. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It smells like Christmas in here. What have you been burning? That is a Bath and Body Works. Magic is in the air. I love this smell. Does it remind you of the old house? Because I think I burnt that in the old house. Possibly. I only know this because I've got the body spray. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh. It's going to sound really weird. What? And it may be really unhygienic. What? Do you still have them pick and mixes? No. That's okay. It's a little bit later in the evening now, and myself and Mark, and actually Alfie's dad, Nick, Alfie, Poppy and Sean and potentially Holly will all go in to see Hereditary which I have heard is terrifying just the sort of film I like to see I do love a good horror the last horror I saw was with you which was um, Paranormal Activity The Four Keys Insidious. Well. Insidious. <laughs> I get those ones mixed up. I'm very excited to see it. We're seeing it in the Duke of York picture house. house. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh! Your battery's flashing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. So yeah, we'll see you there. Look who we found. He just gave us the fright of our lives. He literally, I was filming an Insta story. If, you were, if you've if you been on my Instagram, at Zoella, go and follow me if you don't already. I was filming an Instagram story and Alfie ran up and like jumped on the window and it made us poo ourselves right before we watch a film that's going to make us poo ourselves. And we were singing a lovely nursery rhyme as well. I oh, know. <laughs> Look who's joined us. Hiya. I'm, I'm the scary lady. I'm going to Hiya. I'm hereditary. <laughs> Poppy's brought blanket. a blanket that her and Holly are gonna hide underneath. <laughs> like legit at the bar. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> so, Hereditary was sort of sold to me as like the scariest film. Yeah. I kept asking Alfie what the time was, I'm not gonna lie, it really dragged. It was very long. The start was very slow and it was just, I think it was just one of those films where everything sort of happens quite near the end. I think that's, that's like a proper horror film. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, it's got a lot of substance and story. I think that's what, I feel like real horror fans are going to love that. Yeah. Because it's like proper horror, but it's not like, I thought it was going to be like, ah. Home now, my battery ran out. <laughs> What, what, what I was saying, what, 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 what I was saying was that I think it was a really good film. The soundtrack was insane. Like it was so creepy, the music, which was just amazing. Um, and I feel like it had some really creepy moments, but overall, I don't think it was like that scary on my, on my scare scale. Holly, however, said it was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> what would you give out of 10? Um, scare factor. Yeah. Probably like a seven. Yeah. Story, music, and cinematography. I I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. 
Yeah, the cinematography was really cool. Like, some of the camera angles were yeah. great. Like, really trippy. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm gonna go to bed now. I've got Tarn coming tomorrow, which is gonna be so much fun. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you again very, very soon.